Hello. Uh, yesterday we uh, encountered or attempted to encounter the true heart of compassion with strength by embracing our weaknesses, what we were ashamed or afraid or in some way um, uh, what we wanted to keep away from ourselves uh, or didn't like. And today, there's an interesting progression on to the next card, which is the hermit. Um, it, the interesting progression has to do with the fact that once you uh, really look at what you're afraid of or what you dislike or hate or what makes you angry or fearful or insecure, no matter, even if it's something that you see outside of yourself, it really ultimately comes down to you. Uh, we don't, we can't see anything good or bad outside ourselves unless it's something that we recognize <laughs> on some level within, whether it's something that we attempt to suppress or that we don't accept within, or whether it's something that, uh, that whatever emotions that we like within or whatever emotions it brings up for us. So ultimately, and, and the, the place where that really occurs, of course, is in the mind, the things that we think we like or dislike, what we think we have, the ideas we have about good and bad and right and wrong. So ultimately, the, to, for strength to really, you, you see how difficult it is to look and to embrace it. And we go one step deeper with looking or embracing that where we just truly look at ourselves. And anybody who's gone on any kind of meditation retreat will know just how difficult it is to have to look at yourself for any extended period of time. Just how much will come up, how much boredom, how much every single thing you think you've done wrong in your life, how much your mind will just start going and going and going and going. And uh, so that's what we, that's what today is about, about finding a meditative how about finding the techniques that we can use to find a meditative state or place and ideally today to experience that to some degree because the road is about to get kind of bumpy ahead not in the next couple of cards but shortly after that and more than anything even for the next couple of cards we need to be able to access a center within ourselves we need to at least have some techniques that we can call upon that we can use when we need to access uh, that center and deal with all the stuff that comes up. So uh, most of the cards, so today is meant to be a day where you approach some kind of meditative practice. You know, ideally it's a day that you spend, you know, by yourself, but most of us can't do that for the whole entire day at least. So it could be a day where you connect to some kind of practice. Let me show you some of the cards that, uh, for the hermit. Uh, this is one of my cards and it's a monk from something like a Buddhist tradition. Um, often they show these monks holding an alms bowl, but I prefer to think of this as the world or a jewel, as if he's found a jewel and it was at his heart of great, great value. Uh, this is another one which shows a more traditional sort of yogi-like hermit in his cave, uh, smiling and meditating as he has this crown chakra completely open, but all his chakras, you can see, are engaged and pure and shining. Uh, older versions show um, more of a regular monk, like this, or the hermit is what it's called. Um, and here is Crowley's, where again, though, he has a light, and uh, you can see Cerebrus, the dog of the underworld, like he's shining a light on what is dark for most. He's not afraid of it. And here too, there's a hermit uh, shining a light um, in a dark place. So uh, today may be a day where you connect to those practices that you yourself are already connected to, where you, uh, it might be a day that you do really try to spend by yourself, where you turn off the phone or the computer and you, uh, really take the time to spend the time alone, whether that means meditating or perhaps doing something that you yourself find meditative. It could be knitting or reading or drawing, but where you really truly look at what it is to engage with yourself. It could be uh, connecting to a person who can guide you to 
practices or techniques that are um, that that will help you find that and where you experiment with uh, some new technique to help you find yourself. Uh, again, for most of us, it's difficult to take a full day, but some part of the day at least should be spent on it. And at the very least, if you have no idea what to do with this, um, breathing techniques are something that not only every spiritual tradition, but now in uh, psychiatric medicine and in psychology, and even before you go into an operation, someone will come to you and try to like calm you and center you by doing breathing with you. And the simplest breathing technique is uh, equal breathing, where you breathe in to the count of four or five, something like that. You hold it for the count, the same count, four or five, and then you breathe out to the same count of four or five. And then ideally, you hold it out for the same count of four or five. So this is an amazing practice, a very simple practice, and one that you can do anywhere, one that you can do when you are surrounded by people. So it's a way to contact the hermit within, even when there are people about. Uh, it is a technique that has been shown to relieve anxiety. And uh, what it does, it's not that it just, it, it will change your state of mind. It's not that it just does that by, um, you go from being depressed to, to being like suddenly ecstatic. But what it does is it opens up a space, a gap, a place where those emotions that were oppressing you, that were closing down on you, are just a little bit more open so that you can feel something else. And that something else doesn't have to be identifiable as good or bad. Often it's not. But that it, it is something else helps you recognize that what you were feeling and feeling so trapped by does not have to be the only way. Once again, as I said, it's very important to connect to some way of centering or balancing or quieting yourself and looking within because over the next few days uh, as we move on through the cards we are about to meet the real challenges on our path. The hero really has to fight the dragon or really has to fa face the dark night of the soul. So take advantage of this wonderful day to spend time with your only true ally, yourself, and to get to know yourself just a little bit better and know what you need to do to face your demons and to find centering within. Have a great day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.